Now, local news about local people. This is NewsLink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Defense attorneys in a high profile Madison County murder case have filed a motion to dismiss the state's death penalty request. And NewsLink Indiana's Lee Atherton reports they say it's because of the county's financial problems, not the crime. We're supposed to get paid every 30 days by law and we have gone for about three months without any of us getting paid. Brian Williams is one defense attorney for Frederick Michael Bear, the man charged with the murder of 26-year-old Corey Clark of LaPelle and her four-year-old daughter Jenna. According to a motion filed in court, the state should not seek the death penalty when it's not prepared to provide necessary funds for the defense. I don't believe that the county's uh, financial difficulties should keep this man from being tried to the fullest extent of the law. Scott Tischler says a death penalty trial will cost the county nearly half a million dollars, but the state will refund only about half of that cost. It's paying it out initially that, that will create the difficulties uh, for the county as far as our cash flow situation goes. County Council President Jeff Harden and County Auditor Patricia Dillon have been subpoenaed to go before the judge in the Bear case to decide whether or not the county can afford to keep pursuing the death penalty. Williams says right now the defense has two lawyers plus a mitigation specialist and a private investigator. If the death penalty is dropped, the defense will only have one lawyer and maybe a mitigation specialist. Uh, without the death penalty, the, that expense is probably cut by probably more than 80 percent. The cost of justice may be just out of reach for Madison County. In Anderson, Lee Atherton, NewsLink, Indiana. Bear's trial is scheduled to start April 26th. The Indiana Chamber of Commerce has named Muncie the 2004 Community of the Year. Muncie beat out 11 other communities. The award is based on a list of quality of life initiatives. Indiana Chamber President Kevin Brinegar says the city's determination to move forward constructively is an indication of its strength. The Delaware County Chamber of Commerce chose to use the sixth phase of the Vision 2006 Economic Development Plan in its presentation. The plan includes retaining current businesses, recruiting new ones, and increasing population. Muncie is the first repeat winner of the award. It also won in 1991. Well, now here is Carrie Hazley with a look at our forecast. Carrie. Thanks, Chris. We start things off with a look at the forecast for the overnight hours tonight. We should see sprinkles early, but those will start to clear out as we head through the overnight hours, and we'll drop down to a low temperature of 34 degrees. And in the forecast for tomorrow, we warm back up to a temperature of 46, and we will see gradual clearing. Chris? Thanks, Carrie. That is NewsLink Indiana. Join us tomorrow morning at 627 for more news. And get local news about local people 24 hours a day at NewsLinkIndiana.com.